Hello everyone, back to you into today's second video doing the ECMWF 30 day look ahead for the UK and for Europe too and take us through most of April. Join of April, we've just released the April 2019 month forecast. So, um, quite an interesting month ahead, quite a complicated month to forecast for. Overall though, we're going for above average temperatures and drier than average conditions yet again uh, for this uh, April. So have a look at the April month forecast and see what's going on. We'll, we'll be um, having a week's 10 day video update as usual on the homepage uh, at Gazza this, this afternoon or later this afternoon. So, um, we're at the Hungarian Met Office. We're going to have a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next uh, month, break it down into week periods, so for the next four weeks, uh, which will cover pretty much the whole of the calendar month of April. Um, so we can't see mean sea level pressure or 500 millibar heights with this, but you can get a rough idea of what the broad pack will be doing uh, from a temperature and precipitation anomaly. So that's what we're going to do uh, right now. We're going to start off with week one temperature uh, anomalies. Of course, it's week 14 for uh, this year, for 2019, week one for our forecast period. And uh, we see a bit of an east-west split, actually, across uh, much of Europe this week. So in the west of Europe, it is looking quite cold, actually. Cold on average, anyway, uh, for the UK, for Ireland, for much of France, low countries, down into Spain and Portugal, below average temperature anomalies here. Across the north and the east of Europe, uh, generally, it's coming out above average, more than average seen across many of those central and uh, northeastern parts of Europe. Although Ukraine going down to Black Sea, it's a little bit cooler there. Uh, through the Mediterranean, this east-west split is in evidence as well. So to the west of Italy, generally it is uh, cooler than average, a below average temperature anomaly uh, in the week here. But in the eastern part of the Med, so kind of like from Italy over the Asiatic into the Balkans and down in towards Greece and Turkey, temperatures look a little bit better uh, through those areas. Much of Scandinavia looks quite mild in the week ahead. Precipitation is varying from area to area from the 1st to the 7th of April, week one. Uh, so we again see much of northern and eastern parts of Europe generally on the slightly drier than average side. In the west of Europe, it does vary from area to area. So for the UK and for Ireland, for example, well, for western parts of the UK and much of Ireland, it's drier than average. But on the eastern side of the UK, it's a bit wetter than average. Presumably, that's wintry showers being brought in from off the North Sea. Uh, so Germany is looking uh, a little bit on the wet and average side, perhaps. France generally a little bit drier, favouring a bit drier through France. Spain and Portugal looking quite unsettled with above average precipitation. In fact, much of the May does look quite unsettled, you have to say. Generally from Spain and Portugal in the west over towards the Adriatic, it just does generally look uh, rather wetter than average. So quite an unsettled week, perhaps, down in the Med. And then we move through to uh, week two, week 15 for the year, of course, is taking us from the 8th through to the 14th of April. And uh, this one becomes uh, a bit warmer then. So we lose those cold and average temperature anomalies in the west. Although the far southwest, Spain and Portugal, still a bit cooler than average there. France is going close to average. Ireland and the UK, if they think probably favouring a little bit milder than average, especially for parts of Ireland, close to average maybe for uh, much of uh, the UK. And then these northern, central, eastern parts of Europe, generally average to a bit above average. It does look a warmer week, this, I think, this second week of April, particularly so in the west of Europe, where it's cold, of course, in week one. Down in the Medbo, quite a cool week, actually. Most of the Mediterranean uh, looking a little bit cooler than average from Spain and Portugal in the west, over towards Greece and Turkey down there in that southeastern corner. And it looks pretty dry too, so it appears high pressure is re-establishing itself through this second week of April. The southeastern corner of Mediterranean looks quite wet down there, so from southern Italy down towards Greece and Turkey, above average precipitation, probably from pretty 
big thunderstorms. But through most parts of uh, Europe, actually, it's looking rather dry, particularly so across uh, northern Scandinavia, so Norway, and then stretching out towards the north of the, the UK and down to Scotland. Looks pretty dry uh, there, significantly dry and average, so you would assume there's some sort of blocking area of high pressure up here. But actually, most parts of Europe look rather blocked off. It does look as though many places are a little bit on the dry of an average side. Uh, anyway, just in this far southwestern corner, does it look a bit wetter, and particularly so down in the southeastern corner of the Mediterranean. Uh, that takes us through to week three, which is week 16 for the year, of course. This one is the 15th to the 21st of April. Signal starting to weaken as we go through to week three, as usual. So we're seeing a lot of white here. This is telling us that uh, the temperature anomaly is either just very close to average in most parts of Europe or more likely just that the signal is weakening a little bit. Northern parts of Scandinavia looking a bit colder than average up there, slightly below average temperature anomalies there. Uh, otherwise, there's not a great deal to go on. Slightly above average around the North Sea and uh, going over towards the Baltic Sea as well, perhaps. Uh, and Bay of Biscay also looking a little bit milder than average. So I would suspect it is still a relatively mild week, this really. It's just that the model has uh, got a weaker signal, if you like. But there's no particular sign of anything cold. I mean, you would say it's average to slightly above average as opposed to being average to slightly below average through most parts of uh, Europe. But very, very weak signals there. And indeed, quite weak signals for precipitation as well. This precipitation anomaly from the 15th to the 21st of April. So again, we do see back to the far northern part of uh, the uh, of Europe, so to the north of Scotland and uh, to the west of Scandinavia. Generally, it's a little bit drier than average up there, telling us that high pressure is still likely to be in control for this uh, northern part of the Atlantic Ocean. Otherwise, again, just a lot of white uh, in evidence, so really weak signals here. Maybe a suggestion of going a bit more unsettled, slightly above average precipitation down towards Spain and Portugal. Uh, there's a few tiny splodges of blue there across the UK and the Irish Sea, so maybe a little bit more unsettled uh, generally in the west of Europe. But I mean, these are really, really weak signals, so I wouldn't be uh, overly confident about that. And then finally, we're through to uh, week 17 for 2019, which is week four for our forecast period. This one is the 22nd to the 28th of April. It looks like it's turning warmer, although this is week four, and normally in week four, the signal will weaken even further. Actually, the signal is strengthening here for week four, and it's going pretty warm across most parts of Europe as we go through to the final stages of April. Above average temperature anomalies, particularly through the central parts of Europe, so from France over towards the Black Sea, widely uh, sort of two to three, de one to three degrees above average in this area. Uh, UK Ireland, um, we're sort of up to a degree above average, so slightly above average for us. I mean, down to Spain and Portugal, significantly more than average there. Much of Scandinavia, close to average, but going down towards the Baltic and then these northeastern uh, states of Europe, it does look rather warmer than average there. I think generally it is signaling a much warmer than average week coming up here for this final full week of April. Much of the Med is also above average with temperature anomalies. So if you want to go for uh, for a break um, over Easter down to Med, it doesn't look too bad at all, actually. Uh, they're generally warmer than average for the final week of April. No particular signal for precipitation. It's slightly above average for rainfall across uh, Germany. But uh, overall, again, really, really weak signals of precipitation, as you usually find with these uh, four weekly anomaly maps. By the time you get through to week four, they do tend to weaken a lot for precipitation. If it's going widely warmer than average through most of Europe, you would have to assume there's got to be some sort of ridge building. So I'm a bit surprised to see it slightly wetter than average for Germany. I would have thought, given the pattern, we would likely be seeing some sort of area of high pressure setting up across central parts of Europe and beginning to pull the winds up from the Mediterranean. But 
again, it is week four. They're, they're very, very weak signals. And uh, I don't think we should get too hung up about the details. So in terms of April itself, uh, I think broadly it's in line with the April forecast, to be honest. We're starting off quite cold and quite unsettled in the west of Europe. The UK is including that showering cold conditions, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too long before we revert back to high pressure and milder and drier conditions. The overall trend for April, I think, is looking relatively mild, not just for the UK, but much of Europe too. Relatively mild, maybe by the end of the month, actually quite warm. And uh, I suspect there's quite a bit of dry weather in there as well, even though we are starting off a little bit cooler. Right, that's it for this week. We'll be back with the ECMDF 30-day look ahead next Tuesday. Come back this afternoon when we'll have your week to 10-day video update, including all of the usual features. That'll be on the homepage later on this afternoon. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.